Raila's hometown. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you know Raila Odinga? First of all, we are from the same clan. Hey! This was Raila Odinga's first house. Apparently, Mr. Jamok Odinga had four wives, but it's the new culture. another word to describe the word excited because I, I use that word a lot so Raila Odinga what and this place is home to many people you know many great people not just Raila in case you didn't know we are in Bondo and Calligraph Jones is also from this freaking town Omolo ni matoka Bondo Kume Calligraph and Raila share you know the same hometown oh my gosh so we're still on the way I'll keep you guys posted as we go you know it's such a good day the sun is out I'm super excited I'm thrilled I'm just oh my gosh head over heels I'm on cloud nine right now we have so much to show you in this vlog so stay tuned in oh oh look at this house in the village what these are legendary this is the freaking grand entrance oh I already love the trees Guys, so looking at me right now, you may think that I'm just in, you know, a forest or a village, but you will be extremely mistaken because right ahead of me, <laughs> I am in Mr. Raila Odinga's home, Jeramogi Odinga, the first ever vice president of Kenya's home is right behind me. And this place, come on, it's actually, it's protected, it's protected property by the anchor security, but then again, who will dare? Who will dare try and just walk into Baba's home? Apart from his studio, of course. <laughs> Guys, so you can see what welcomes us here is a lion at the gate. This is amazing, man. A lion facing the gate. Okay. Oh, what's that straight ahead? It looks like a church. Well, this is a mausoleum. This is where the Romogu is buried. Oh, really? Uh, it's right inside there. We're going there, Mazi. We're going there. We're going right inside there. Is there like a school inside because there are kids with you? Just to clean. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see them cleaning. We can see some kids cleaning. Guys. So I am in the home of not just anyone, but the first ever vice president of Kenya. He was called Jaramogi Odinga. The African people in Kenya and in Africa. This guy is a legend in history books. We study him in school, you know. His son is the most one of the most popular politicians in Kenya. Raila Amolo Odinga, a.k.a. Baba, a.k.a. Aguambo. Aguambo. Yeah, Aguambo. Hey. Tinga. Tinga, Aguambo, uh. Baba. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe I am in his home, you know. These are political legends. They are businessmen, stroke politicians, and they've made such an impact in the society. Whether you like them or not, one thing you have to agree with is they've made an impact in Kenya. You know, they are big names, and I feel so humbled to be in their home you know i can't even believe it oh, oh my god so on our way in we are welcomed by a lion you know and i think i've seen a couple of other lions around so apparently why we have many lions is because uh odinga odinga who was the father of Rayla odinga was the head of a uh, political party ford kenya and ford kenya their symbol was lions so mm, it's so beautiful yani entering into a compound and the first thing you see is a lion let me just show you Rayla's first house guys so apparently this was Raila Odinga's first house in in Luo they call it Simba this is actually the very 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 first place Raila moved to when he moved out of the parents house which is mind-blowing it's a very simple house it's made of wood you know very humble the fact that it's still here is just it's beautiful you know right now there's lots of bees it's bees yeah there's a lot of bees here and I'm just wondering, you know, when is the last time Ray Laudinga was here? And he must have made so many memories here as a young man, you know. 
this you know and who would have thought like i know he's a son of a big politician but then who would have thought that he'd turn out to be you know such a big brain in the kenyan political industry it's insane just standing where his house was you guys do you even understand how big this is i'm speechless inside it's very simple nothing much going on just i think it's like three rooms there and uh, that's about it but i feel like this is is way 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 better than other simbas basically what i'm trying to say you know it was built way back then and it looks this good i think back then this was the the yani because it still looks really good you know and back then guys are not exactly building with you know expensive things The first vice president of the Republic of Kenya, Brad. The legend himself, the yeah. one books are written about, the one you watch, you know. He looks very much like Raila Odinga, like they look so alike. Well, when I was born, he wasn't even alive. Like, but I'm so happy, I'm so happy I've come here. This is such a beautiful place, it's so peaceful. Oh my gosh, you guys. How often does Raila come here to see the fathers? Oh, every time he comes. He must be proud of his son. Thanks. Okay, so here we have Jaramogi Oginga Odinga um, being sworn in as a new minister in 1963. Uh, man, so much history here, you guys. See Jaramogi Oginga Odinga being sworn in as the MP for Bondo in 1964. You know, like right after we got independence as a country that's over 50 years ago almost 60. guys for you guys wondering all you hear about your handshake between Raila and Okuru well this was the first ever handshake in 1964 we have uh Uhuru, i mean jomo kenyatta who was uhuru's father the first president of kenya in Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, the first vice president of kenya and here we go with the handshake so it started over 50 years ago Guys, and just like that, you've come out of this place. Man, I'm so happy to have been here. You guys, you don't understand. So many memories. So we've been shown that this was the house of um, Oginga Odinga. And uh, again, we have some small lions. Maybe they're cubs right next to the doors, each door. So he's actually opening the house for us to go in. Oh, hey, God. What did I do to deserve this? Hey. A few moments later. Guys, we just left uh, Oginga Odinga's house. I'm sorry we are not allowed to film inside, but what we saw inside there was just a whole history lesson, even more than that. Walking through the corridors of the house was just mind-blowing. This is somewhere where Oginga Odinga has been. This is literally his home. We saw his bedroom, we saw his clothes, his caps, his toothbrush, his shoes. Wow, such an experience, you guys. And through the hallways is a big wall that has all African presidents, Kenyan presidents, Kenyan vice presidents, you know, musicians who have made a big impact in the world. I just, you just have to come. Apparently, Mr. Jamogi Odinga had four wives, according to the local culture, okay? Yeah, and guys, do you know that back then in 1964, when he came from abroad to represent Kenya, he got to Kenya and they told him to be president. Um, at that time, Uhuru's father, who was Jomo Kenyatta, was still in detention. And Jaramogi Odinga said no. He cannot take the seat of power if Mze Jomo Kenyatta was still in detention. That's where the phrase, no, no Uhuru, no freedom came from, you know. So he declined the offer until they released Mze Jomo Kenyatta, who became the first president and elected Jaramogi Oginga Odinga as the first vice president. Such beautiful history. So these guys were actually best friends at some point. So 
I understand why Uhuru and Raila are best friends because they just started from their father. We even saw from the handshake. The handshake started way back when, you know, those days of independence. So, I don't know. I hope you've learned some history, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I've learned something new. Guys, so we are from this place, which is a small grave where other people have been buried in the Raila family, like his son, Fidel Odinga, his mother and other relatives yeah it's basically a small home cemetery a couple of people obviously i couldn't show you there because of respect you know guys as you can see i am in i am in jaramogi oginga odinga university of science and technology this is just a few um meters away from raila's home and uh, i want to talk to a student you know hello how are you so how does it feel to be in a university that is named after the first vice president it's something appreciatable. Yeah, very appreciatable. Right? We, we do enjoy being here uh -huh. to study. He once came to the university. Yeah. Ah, okay. During the election. Oh, during election, Raila Odinga came here. During graduation. During graduation. Oh, that must have been nice. Uh, do you know Raila Odinga? First of all, we are from the same clan. Hey! Yeah. You're from the same clan? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Which clan is that? Uh, it's called Karaila. Raila. So Raila the, the ancestor. Ah. Yeah. So I'm standing with Raila's relative. Hey. Hey, I'm humble. Hey. Uh, and you're so humble and you're Raila's relative. Yes. Yo, we are so humble to be in Raila's hometown. Actually in Bondo. Mm. Uh, Bondo is uh, full of intellect. Oh yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would like to tell Baba mm -hmm. is that uh, is an is Baba is like an African icon. Wafanya tu vitu zenye zinazofanya at least Africa to to be united. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Do you know anyone by the name Raila? Yeah, I know him. We, we share the same clan. Hey. Hey. Today I'm just meeting people sharing the same clan with Raila. Hey. Yeah, Raila is from Safwa, Kapodi. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm also I'm telling you guys, on these streets, we are only meeting Raila's relatives. It's no joke. Hey! So, how does it feel like to be related to Honorable Mr. Raila Molo Odinga? It's something great because uh -huh. when you meet people, mm -hmm. they ask you, where are you from? I'm Yakakwa. Hey! Oh, are then... you from the president? Hey! Must no. be nice. Hey! So you feel 